I told y'all it was gonna be another big one. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. So we've got these themed movie nights every single week for the month of October for the rest of September as well. Haunted Mansion was our first one. I did post a YouTube short to kind of show you guys. A lot of y'all wanted to see all of this in a little action. So go and check it out and show it some love. And I'm gonna take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up this week from Target. We did go to Aldi. Sam's Club was crazy, I'll explain, and did a Walmart pickup, but another massive one. This week coming up shouldn't be as massive because I'm going to my sister's, but you know I'm always lying to you guys as far as the quantity of these things, so let's get into it. First stop, Target, $21. $21 for this, y'all. <sighs> All right, so we're doing our Halloween first movie spooky night. We're doing Haunted Mansion themed this first week, family night. And we're gonna be making those caramel apple mini bites that's viral everywhere. So I needed the like caramels, the individually wrapped ones. These are hard to find, believe it or not. Walmart's been sold out, so I saw that Target had them, so I was there. I picked those up. I'm also gonna be making like that sausage dip I make for most parties. It's requested by everyone, and my sister asked if I can make it. It's super easy. It's a roll of this turkey sausage, a can of Rotel, and a block of cream cheese. That's it, any spices that you want. It is so freaking fire, and it's macro friendly because we're using the, top, the turkey sausage, we're using the like light cream cheese, or you can use that Greek protein one, and then Rotel. It's good, I'm telling you, everybody loves it. So I got two rolls because I use this all the time, and of course, it's only available at Target. And I'm not always there, so went ahead and got that. And then butter was sold out all in my Walmart order for when I go do my pickup. And even still, it's super expensive, any other type of brand versus the Walmart one. So I was like, not happening. I don't buy butter a lot unless I'm doing baking and stuff. So that's what this is for because we're going to be needing it. And I don't have a lot on hand. And since I was there and I saw the Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese, I picked up one just because this is always sold out at my main target i went to another target today and it's a lot better i will say i like it but it's out of the way um so i went ahead and picked that up since i was there and then i'm filming this like earlier in the week before i actually do my walmart pickup and i ran out of like oil spray so i just got this good and gather olive oil one they only at the target i went to they only sold good and gather they didn't have like any name brand of this stuff which i thought was kind of odd but i went ahead and got this one no biggie until we can get the avocado one I like from Thrive Market. I need to make an order with them soon. So $21 at Target. We should have Sam's Club and Walmart. Maybe a quick Aldi run in for all the like basic things for the week to keep us on track and for this party that I'm so excited Next up, about. Aldi for $66.88. Let me tell you, um, we had a little fiasco at Aldi because I thought I left my phone. I left my phone somewhere. I couldn't find it. Y'all know the flaps and the carts at the front where like the kids go. It was stuck under there. And thankfully, so many people were trying to help me find my freaking phone. And I found it. Aldi, you're you killing me here lately. I don't know. I need to stay my ass out of Aldi is all I got to say. I went in because y'all, these breads are so fire. If you can find them, snag as many as you can everyone in the house everyone is loving it we flew through the other loaves already from last week they gone they so good this apple strudel one i will tell you i think is just slightly better than this one again another time where there was only one on the shelf like this one's flying at my store they had plenty of this one at my store i went ahead and got this one like i said hubby and all the boys and myself we were loving it 150 calories a slice so good so worth it they finally had these in stock. They've been out for the last couple of times I've went. So we got the orange, the red, and the yellow bell, bell pepper trio. That is for tray for lunch boxes. I needed apples and I was gonna get the Cosmic Crisp from Sam's Club. They are a better deal there, but this was an even better deal. They are Honey Crisp apples. I think this is a three pound bag. They were on sale for what I'm popping up, which made them really cheap. Now granted, they're tiny, but that's perfect for the boys. They don't like the big, the big mammoth ones. I do because I eat a lot at one quantity when I'm weighing things up, but it's fine. So I went ahead and got those because that's a killer deal. Honeycrisp has been like through the roof by me at all the places, so I could not believe the price on those. So I had to have them because I have them on plan next week. Almond milk for my protein coffee always. 
I picked up a liquid egg white because I was there. Pains me because it's so high, but you know, we use that on a daily pretty much. Y'all never really see me buy this kind of stuff. I got the half and half, and I didn't get the fat free just because this is 35 calories for two tablespoons. And this is for my crawfish corn chowder that I have not made in forever. And I'm like, I don't want to make it macro friendly. I want to make it just like the regular recipe for this Saturday for our movie night. And I don't want to skip out on any of the goodness. So that's why that is for. And it was much cheaper at Aldi than at Walmart. And that's why I had my phone out because I'm checking the freaking Walmart app to compare prices. And I almost lost my phone. Ah, first world problems. I did get the Clancy's pretzel slims and the original. I don't have any original. I have plenty of flavored ones. But I'm going to be making that dip for Saturday night. And I know that my brother-in-law likes the regular ones. So I went ahead and got those for him. Y'all, I saw, I was not even like needing anything in the spice section. I looked over and I saw this, everything but the bagel, but it's Asiago cheese flavored. What? Everything but the bagel. And now we got it a little cheese seasoning in there. Um, You knew that got thrown into the cart. I had to have that. Did I need this? No, because I think I just bought an everything but the bagel seasoning, but I use it all the time. And now a cheesy one, mm, that'll be fire in the egg whites. Cannot wait to try that. Y'all let me know in the comments if you've tried that already. I didn't even know that was a thing. I did get the Casa Mamita diced tomatoes, Rotel basically, for the dip I'm gonna be making. Yes, I got another coffee. Did I need this? No, because you saw me buy one last week, but this is another seasonal thing that I'm like, dang, this is the best flavored coffee I've had in a long, long time. I've tried a lot of ones you guys have seen in the grocery hauls, but this one is by far number one and they did not have many. They had this was like maybe three on the shelf. Plenty of the pumpkin pie, a sea of the pumpkin pie ones or pumpkin spice, but these were getting snagged and I know why, cause that one's good. So I wanted to make sure I had that like through January. So that's a backup. Grapes were a good deal and y'all haven't seen us buy the red in a while. So the hubs and Waylon will be happy and I'm making a chicken salad recipe that I've made before that calls for grapes and either the green or the red works just fine. It tastes really good. So I need extra. Their mushrooms were on sale. I was going to get the baby Bella, but these were significantly cheaper, the slice ones. And hey, I don't have to slice them. So why not? I'm making Elise Ellis's Philly cheesesteak shells. That is in a like old recipe, but we've made it a couple times. It's really good and the boys like it a lot. So that's what that's for. Speaking of that recipe, I got two, a little over two pounds of the 96% lean ground beef for that. We did get a bunch of fruit as always. I'm obsessed with blueberries right now, but they are not doing well on my pocketbook. They weren't terrible at Aldi, but gosh, it's still so high, but that should be good. And the raspberries look good and all the berries were just speaking my name and they seemed like a good price. And then of course, $1.99 still for the blackberries. So those are for my tray tray. And then one package of the Mama Cozy's turkey pepperoni because I made those pizza bowls all last week and I flew through like packages of this like in no time because it calls for so much and that is to restock for Trey. So that's what we got for, what did I say? 66 bucks at Aldi, basically running in for specialty things, but getting a couple of cheaper items there versus spending the extra money on the Walmart pickup. Speaking of Walmart, it and Sam's Club. $162 Walmart grocery pickup. I only paid $127 because I had $43.55 for my bada that I converted to a gift card and I got a lot of deals for my bada. I'm going to just keep rolling. I like to do that, especially when my total is a little bit higher because it was this week than normal. Um, hopefully you guys will see a Sam's Club pickup because it's not ready. They're behind and I don't know if I'm going to get it. So there's that. I need to start going in because I have too much drama with the pickup lately. I got some carrot chips. I have these on plan with some chicken salad for lunch next week. And also I'm going to have that myself with the dip we're doing for the movie night tomorrow. I got green onions. I'm pretty sure I only paid for one, but they gave me two, but probably because they are looking pretty sad. So I'm going to cut these right now. That's a tip. If they're already looking sad, don't keep them in the fridge. They'll just keep wilting. If you go ahead and cut them, they'll stay like crisp and fresh longer, if that makes sense. That's a little hack there. I got one onion for the Philly cheesesteak shells we're going to be making from Elise. A five pound bag of potatoes was cheaper than Aldi to make some french fries because we're also going to make my cracked chicken in the crock pot. I have that here on my YouTube channel and we like to serve that over fries and drizzle some light ranch on it. Super good, and that cracked chicken, you can just eat it straight up with the carrot chips or on a bun, whatever, it is delicious. Got some blueberries, they are still so pricey, but they're more expensive at Sam's Club for the same ounces than it was at Walmart, and these look pretty good, and I've been obsessed lately, so I'm paying it. My bell pepper also looks a little puny. This is for the Philly cheesesteak shells. We got one of those for the recipe. Three Granny Smith apples instead of getting a bag of apples. 
I didn't want to pay it because y'all saw all the apples we got from Aldi, but this is for the caramel apple little bites that I've mentioned in a couple of videos past that we're going to be making for the movie night tomorrow. Excited for that. A bunch of organic bananas. If you know, you know. The Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade. Y'all see me haul this all the time, but I'm making a witch's brew punch tomorrow. It is not macro friendly. I'm just telling you, it's for the kids. But I thought we could lessen the sugar overload a little bit by using this because if you do what the original recipe calls, yikes. I mean, it's like they will be up all night and bouncing around like they're on something for sure. So we're going to lessen it a little bit with that, cut it. And then we got some chocolate milk every week, Fair Life, and then the fat free Fair Life for recipes and for cereal. Got a tub of the Great Value French Onion Dip for the movie night tomorrow. This one's a little higher calorie than some of the other ones you can get 60 calories for two tablespoons but it is a non-tracked evening of fun so I'm not really worrying about it too much we've got four of the light and fit protein mixed berry smoothie yogurts these are awesome if you're in a calorie deficit a lot of people in the program complain about getting the food in because they're used to starving themselves. So if that pertains to you, these are 80 calories and 10 grams of protein, and it's easy to like drink this real quick. They don't have the too good smoothie. I bought a deal anymore. They do, but it's not as good as it was. So I'm just going back to buying these. I got two of the non-fat plain Greek yogurts and the Chobani. Y'all know I like to get the great value one, but they said they were out of stock. And instead of getting the big tubs, because the big tubs of the great value have been out of stock, and y'all know like the Chobani Bonnie and the name brands are like six dollars right now I've just been getting these little cups for just the recipe so I don't have a big tub spending a lot of money and it going bad if that makes sense the jello chocolate vanilla swirl pudding cups there was an I bought a deal I think for 65 cents for each one which made them cheaper to get the four pack than getting the eight pack y'all know I love these they're 60 calories if you're in a calorie deficit they taste delicious and we have like one left on hand and I've been eating them a lot so I went ahead and got that since I saw the deal I did get three blocks of cream cheese. This is the Greek one. This one is a little bit better as far as having a little extra protein. We cannot tell the difference between this one and the light one. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion to sneak in the protein that way. Got a block of sharp cheddar cheese, the one pound for all the recipes. I needed to get that and it's cheaper to do it this way with the bigger quantity than at my Aldi anyway. I got a New York Texas toast real garlic bread that is for the side of the crawfish corn chowder. I always get the great value in. They didn't have it. They're like sold out of all the great value stuff because everybody's trying to save that money because everything's million dollar. Great value mango chunks and the three pound bag. I just wanted to get the one pound again out of stock. I didn't care because y'all know I love this and I will eat it up. If y'all are not on the frozen fruit train and you're not like able to get through the fresh and it's more expensive this is a cheaper option usually and it lasts because it's frozen one cup 80 calories and y'all ask all the time how i eat this if i eat it straight out the bag a lot of times i will plate it up and let it start to defrost on the counter while i'm making my other food and by the time i go to eat it it is softened and delicious two pounds of the crawfish tails million dollar for the crawfish tails okay so we're making that crawfish corn chowder i mentioned i haven't made it in forever we're excited and looking forward to it, but dang, everybody better enjoy it because it is an expensive meal to eat at home, I will tell you. The local ones, though, you pay the extra money for that versus getting the ones from overseas, if you know, you know. Got the 24 count of the Pillsbury cookie dough and the chocolate chip. I'm making those like viral TikTok cookies with the sugar ones y'all saw me buy, that, buy the Halloween ones, and you like stamp it on top of these and you make like a double cookie. We're doing that for the party tomorrow. Hormel Black Label Fully Cooked Bacon. I mentioned last week that we passed on the bacon because it's so expensive and it still is. And I've watched a couple other YouTube videos with grocery hauls and everybody's saying the same thing. So it must be happening nationwide. But I need this for the cracked chicken and this was the cheapest version of bacon I could get was the already cooked one, which I thought was kind of crazy. Two pints of the Great Value Fat-Free Rainbow Sherb Sherbert. Like, why does it say... Y'all, I've seen so many TikToks with this, and they're like, wait, is it Sherbert? Sherbet? How do you pronounce it? Like, how is it supposed to be pronounced? Because I've always called it Sherbert. But I got that for the Witch's Brew, like, punch I mentioned. I told you guys it's going to be loaded down. We got a one-pound bag of the shells for the Philly cheesesteak shells. That's what I like to use. The Welch's Natural Concord Grape is for biscuits, PB&J. We're running low. That's the one I always pick up. 
And then we got some pantry stuff, but stuff a lot for tomorrow's movie night party. I got the Pop-Tarts pre-workout snack. If you know, you know. I haven't tried the Snickerdoodle. Y'all told me to try this one. You said it was great. The Apple Jacks one has been my favorite so far. I had the 12 pack in my cart because I do sell it at Walmart. And I said, let's go ahead and try something different. So we got this one. It's 380 cows for two, but I usually eat just one. I got some Betty Crocker chocolate frosting to go on top of the brownies. We're going to be making those graveyard brownies. So got that because I have none on hand. A big container of the unsalted chicken broth. I have one on hand, but I need it for a recipe and I didn't want to be without and we can always use it. Crawfish chowder calls for two cans of cream of potato and one can of cream of mushroom. So that's what we got. And it also calls for a can of corn. And then for those caramel apple bites, we're not only using caramels, but we're doing them pressed with Rolos too. So we're gonna do half Rolos, half caramel. I mean, yum. And y'all, the price of candy also is million dollars. And this is a share pack. Y'all don't even wanna know what the like family pack costs. I was like, that is enough, dang. But one thing that is a pretty good deal is the great value like knockoff to the cookies. And this is a knockoff to the Oreos. And this is the family size. So this is way cheaper than the name brand. And I'm crushing these up to go on top of the graveyard brownies to make like a dirt effect. So I didn't care. So that's why we got those. I did get some chips for the movie night. I got the baked barbecue. Everybody loves these. We can't really tell a difference. So I go that route. However, like there's like nothing in the bag for the price. Ugh, always getting ripped off. And then the Great Value Rippled Original Potato Chips. These are like the knockoff to the ruffle. Pretty good deal on the Great Value Chips. I got that for an add-in. Got some drinks, the Sunkiss Orange Zero Sugar, just to have. I wanted to get the 12 packs, but I can't find the 12 packs in the Sunkiss anymore. Y'all let me know if it's been like non-existent by you. A bottle of club soda, that's for the Witch's Brew Punch. Y'all, I'll have to let you know if the kids like it or not, because it's got a lot going on. The 12 pack of the A&W Zero Sugar, just to have a 12 pack on hand. We don't have a lot, honestly. We've, we've been going through them hardcore, so I need to re-up. So I just got one, because Walmart's availability of Zero Sugar drinks, at least on the app, is like not good at all. I did get a bottle for some Fabuloso to put in for cleaning. I needed an empty bottle that was like a dollar and eight cents. This was a substitution. I had another dish brush that I wanted, but they did not have it. So they subbed me for this one. I broke my other one. If you watch the vlog, I explained how I did that. And then I got this tidy bowl instead of getting the scrubbing bubbles because it was cheaper than the scrubbing bubbles has went back up five tablets. I like to put those in the toilets for the boys. And then this was a killer. I bought a rebate. The Walmart cash is also offering this, but remember I said you can't double dip. So if you do the Walmart cash, you won't get an Ibotta rebate as well. You can't get both. So I just like to do Ibotta because it's easier to put on a gift card. You could do the cash and just apply it to your order. It's pretty much the same thing, but they don't always have the same rebates is what I'm trying to say. So I did get this one because it got $7 back and I use this in all the rooms in the house. And this is the apple cinnamon medley one. I have a bunch of the pine ones that I got on a good deal at the salvage store. Y'all know if you watched that video way back when. So I'm ready for Christmas, but I'm out of like fall ones. And I love the apple scent one even more than the pumpkin spice. So that's why we got that. So that is everything for the Walmart pickup for the price I told you. And hopefully you guys will see a Sam's order because we need stuff for the party and I did not get it at Walmart. So fingers crossed that that happens. Sam's Club pickup. It is eight o'clock. We just now picked up the groceries from earlier. Struggle is real. We'll go into the store. I don't remember how much it was, but I'm popping up the individual prices for each item. So I did get some of the nature's own Hawaiian bread, the two pack. This is the one we love. 70 calories a slice, same calories as your standard bread, but it is next level. So good. Hope it doesn't go away. I did get the big package of the Grand's Pillsbury Biscuits, 38 count for the boys. We've been using the cans you guys have seen in the past few hauls, but these are really good and put those in the freezer. Instead of getting the ones from Aldi, I got the yogurt or the Yoplait Glow Gurt tubes because I saw on the app that they were the Halloween versions and I am going to be making the boys' Halloween lunch boxes. So it comes with 32 strawberry and berry, but they have the cute packaging on them. How cute is that? I got this. I'm kind of disappointed in this. I didn't realize how small it was. It'll be fine for what we're doing tomorrow for our movie night, but it sounded really good, but I wish it was bigger. The Taylor Farms Apple Bourbon Chopped Salad Kit. It comes with romaine lettuce, diced apples, smoked gouda, carrots, red cabbage, uncured smoky bacon, and golden honey almonds with maple bourbon vinaigrette. Lord, there's a lot in there, but I'm excited for it. It looks delicious, but just wish I probably should have got two of them, but dang. 
I got the big pack of the Hershey's triple chocolate brownies, the four pack. This is the one we love to get. This is to make those graveyard brownies and they did have a instant savings on this. So that was a win. I've never bought any of their platters from Sam's Club. I bought many cakes and cupcakes in the past, but none of their like party foods. And look how pretty this is for $16. That's a lot of freaking fruit and cheese for $16. You know, if you try to buy this individually, depending on where you are, it'd be way more than that. And that's a lot of cheese in there. So it comes with strawberries, the Colby Sharp, and then we've got both green and red grapes. So that is awesome. I'm going to put that out for the party tomorrow. And then I'm making that chicken salad I told you guys, and I'm going to be using some canned chicken breasts. So I got the one from Sam's Club because it was a much better deal there than it was at Walmart. And I think you get six cans in there. And I'm that recipe, I'm doubling it. So I think I'm using like all six cans. I know. I did get a big case of the Oikos Triple Zero. It comes with six strawberries, six mixed berry, and six vanilla. 15 grams of protein, 90 calories, I think. And this is the one we usually get. And we haven't gotten it in a while because I've been getting the like great value ones, but they've been sold out of the great value ones. They're not even an option in the pickup anymore. I did get a big 35 count cans of the Coke Zero. I wanted to get the Sprite Zero, but they're always out of stock, but I snagged this one since they had it. And again, we're running low on the canned zero sugar soda, so why not? And then I only have a few dishwasher pods left, and I told you guys I was gonna get the next big pack at Sam's, and this was one of the better deals, the finished Powerball Quantum, 100 tabs in here for the price popping up. So that is what we got at Sam's Club, even though we had the debacle of it being delayed forever but we got it nonetheless. So that's gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you love these type of videos here on my channel. And of course, if you are new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below because we are gonna be having massive ones <laughs> coming <laughs> the month of, oh gosh, we got, remember him? Remember him? Yeah, we got massive ones coming all month of October and all kinds of fun and festivities and the holidays are coming right after so you're not going to want to miss a thing and excuse loud mouth over here. Thank y'all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it and we'll see you in next week's video, which may be big, may not. We shall see. See you then. Bye y'all.